Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chandel. Welcome to my little sanctuary. Before you leave, I would love to have you. Please subscribe down below. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Join the family. Come join our gang. We do fun things on this side. So, today's video is going to be what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Did I say it right? I've been trying to say that for like the longest and I just could not get it because it's just too much, okay? So, here is my phone. I got this in a midnight green. Um, I got the green just because it looked different and it kind of spoke to me, I guess. <laughs> but I have a little clear case on it. It's a silver case, not a silver case. I just said clear, duh. Clear case, it has little bumpers on it. So, if I drop my phone, let's try not to crack it. Hopefully that my son don't drop it and try to crack it. So, basically that's what it is. Um, it has the three cameras, if you did not know. I was actually pretty weirded out about the three cameras. I was going to ensure that I like it. But, once I show you guys what I've seen, you'll probably like it too. So, I'm going to move over a little bit. And then on the side of me, I'm going to put like the um, little screen recording so that you guys can see basically what I'm doing. And let's get into this video. Alright guys, so basically the beginning of the screen is my wallpaper, my lock screen. I have the Christmas tree from New York City. Um, they have like a little skating ring so you see the people at the bottom and you see like the little snow that's falling. Um, they got like little statues and stuff. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays so why not? So let's open it up. My background is my baby boy, Kaysen. We were at the mall this day. We were hanging out. So. On the first screen, I don't have my apps in like order or anything, um, just because I have a problem with one moment I might like it being in order, the next minute I might not, so I just don't even bother. So anyway, first thing we got is FaceTime. Everybody know what FaceTime is? <laughs> FaceTiming people. Next we have our calendar. Next we have, what was that? Next we have, <laughs> we have photos. I'm not going to open that because I'm not going to expose myself, but... Um, camera, I'm going to talk about the camera a little bit more. I'm going to show you basically, you know, the camera app thing. But we'll do that a little bit later. We have clock, my alarms, um, we have maps, uh, basically regular stuff on here. This page, page is pretty boring. We have the weather, we have notes. I definitely like using notes because um, I don't have pen and paper handy to me. So I pretty much just use that. Um, we have the app store. Pretty much, you know, find all the games. Like we got like Uno, um, stuff like that. Next we have a health app. I really don't use that as much. I know some people that do. I personally do not. Um, we have wallet. I don't use wallet. I don't know why it has the um, the number one there because I don't I don't use it at all. We have settings, pretty much self-explanatory. At the bottom, icons. We have phone, calling your folks. We have Safari. We have um, messages, and we have. Um, Music, Apple Music. I personally don't use Apple Music anymore. I did at a point, but I just realized I don't really need it. And I'm tired of Apple charging me, okay? So, on the next page, we have Find My iPhone. Um, mostly everyone knows what Find My iPhone is. If you don't know what Find My iPhone is, say if you lose your phone, you go to this app, it's basically going to tell you exactly where it's at. Play self explanatory. Next, we have Shortcuts. I don't use Shortcuts. I don't even, I never even tried to really even use it. Um, next we have contacts, files. I don't use files whatsoever. It just sits there. I'm actually going to delete that if I can. Um, next we have Apple Watch. I have my Apple Watch. We have all the different things. Basically what's on my phone basically syncs to my Apple Watch. You can change my faces on my watch. Alright, next we have utilities. We have voice memos where you can record whatever you want. Say if you doing a YouTube video and you don't have any money to buy a, um, a microphone what you could do is get a little microphone hook it up to your phone and do your voiceovers that way I have done it that way myself next we have inside utilities we have the compass you know self-explanatory as well we have the calculator you girls always calculating some stuff together right next we have activities so activities is basically branched off with iPhone not iPhone I had the Apple watch so up here I can tell Say for the day, my moves, I did 187 out of 310. Um, it says how many steps I walked for the month. It basically tells me my rings that I'm doing. 
and everything pretty much and then it has um trends workouts they say if i usually go take the dog on a walk i usually record how long it takes us to walk around you know like a block or wherever we go kind of thing you have awards all that kind of stuff Next we have is AliExpress. I have used AliExpress before to buy phone cases. I've actually brought weed from there before. Not weed, weave, y'all, don't, don't get crazy. I brought my hair from there before. Um, it's basically a lot of stuff on here. You can buy phone cases, jackets, boots, shoes, clothes, whatever you want, and it's for cheap. All right, so next thing we have is Amazon. We use it all the time between me and my mother. I use her account, wink, wink, um, but yeah. So next we have is Andrews Federal Credit Union. That's basically um, my bank. Um, next I have is the Apple Store where you can look up and see what Apple has new, like the new laptop that's out that I really do want. Um, but we're not gonna get it, okay? Uh, so next we have is Audible. I wanna do a different video on audio, my favorite audios to listen to, but that'll be a separate video, but you can listen to all types of audio books. Next we have is Balloon Pop. Um, balloon Pop is a game and you can just pop balloons pretty much. Kason and I love playing it. Um, next we have is our Bitmoji. This is my girl. So while we're in here, we're gonna change her outfit. Oh, let's see. Bitmoji Harvest. Okay, I'm feeling this right here. I think this is cute. We're gonna change her to that. And look now, she's blah, okay? <laughs> so, next thing we have is Bank of America. It's a bank, everybody has it, it's all over the world. Next we have is Canva. Canva is basically where I used to edit my thumbnails. Um, I also did my YouTube, uh, I guess you call that your header um, as well. I'll show you what that looks like. This is what my YouTube header looks like. It's Chandel's Live videos weekly, share my life with me. I use Kavana, Kavana, I think that's how you say it, to create all that stuff. Next I have is Capital One, another bank for my credit card. Next we have is Cash App, so if you want to send your girl some money, you can, I'm just playing. Next we have is Choices, don't call me a weirdo. I like Choices, I think it's fun, so I read them and I play the, I guess it's a game or whatever you wanna call it. Next we have is Chrome. Chrome is another form of Safari. I um, actually think it's kind of better in my opinion. Next we have is Collageable. Collageable, you can do all different types of collage. You can pick stuff and make collages out of it. Next we have Color WDW. It's basically like coloring for an adult. To me, it's basically like Disney, so you can pick whatever color you want. You can do ice cream parlor. You can just paint color whatever your little heart desire kind of thing so that's it that's all it is and that's it next we have is credit karma because your girl gotta make sure her credit is a one okay next we have is a daily bible verse i read this every day it comes up at a certain time i have it set for a reminder and it comes on for me at 6 30 in the morning when i wake up for work so to the next page I have Daily Horoscope. I don't even use Daily Horoscope. Don't know why it's on my phone, but maybe I should start reading it sometimes. Next we have the DoorDash. Don't really use DoorDash either. We have Episodes. Episodes is basically the same thing as Choices. You can um, pick a story. They got all types of different kind of crazy stuff up here, but you get the point. Um, next we have is Facebook apps. I'm not gonna open that because who knows what the hell be coming on Facebook. So, but that's my Facebook. Um, next I have Facetune. Facetune is basically another photo editing software. So right here we have this picture of me and my mom. Um, we can like fix it, we can edit it and do all these crazy things to it. Um, we can put filters on there. We can do like say we want this filter, this filter, maybe here. You probably hear Kesa in the background. Say okay, maybe we'll put nope. Actually, like this one. We'll probably do this one. So basically, that's what it is. Painting. You can do all kind of things on here, and it's basically you can like fix your face. Not fix your face. I'm trying to say nothing wrong with your face, but you can like edit it. Um, next we have this Fashion Nova. Now you know Fashion Nova is my favorite 
They actually have a sale going on right now. Or well, not even a sale, they have a just arrived, just drop new arrival and stuff. So, you know, I'll love me some Fashion Nova. P.S. Spoiler alert, Fashion Nova videos and other clothing hauls are coming back. All right, next thing we got is Geico. Geico is my car insurance because you got to make sure you're protected. Next, we have the app Glow. Glow is basically a app that has your period and stuff on here. I personally don't track my period through here, but I like to look at the community. They have all kinds of things. You can talk about um, love, sex, all this other stuff, masturbation, yada, yada, yada. Um, period talk if you're trying to conceive, being pregnant. Um, it's just general everything. I think it's really good for girls these days that have this kind of stuff. Next we have is Gmail by Google. I check that um, every day actually. Next we have is Google Duo. Google Duo is, is basically another form of um, FaceTime for safe for people who have Android. P.S. If you hear Casey in the background, he's making noise. I apologize. He's just being a baby. <laughs> um, next thing I got is GoPro for my GoPro camera videos on that will be coming soon as well. Groupon, you can find all types of different kind of coupons up there. Grubhub, I actually have used Grubhub before. Basically, the food arriving app. You don't want to go nowhere. You want to be lazy. Order from there. Next, we have Huggies. So, when I buy case and diapers, I always um, take a picture of the receipt, put it on there, and then I can get, like, some kind of points so I can, like, win, like, maybe, like, some pampers or something. Or diapers, should I say. Next we have iMovie where you can edit your videos, whatever you would like. Next we have iTunes U, I think. I don't I don't use I don't use that. Let go basically is letting go whatever kind of items that you do not want no no more. Next we have Lightroom. Lightroom is basically Photoshop for Adobe. You can you can do whatever on here. You can edit basically wants me to sign in and I'm not gonna do that on here. But next we have Marco Polk. We have um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Everyone knows what that is. Everybody be getting on their by nerve, waving at each other. <laughs> next we have Indeed Jobs, where you can find jobs. Next we have is Instagram. So we're gonna go into Instagram. We're gonna open it up. We are going to go here. You are more than likely to follow me on here. My name is Shandell underscore at Ioki. I post pictures of me, my baby, basically whatever kind of thing. Um, next we have Snapseed. So basically what Snapseed is, is you can edit photos. So say here is a photo between, not between, let me not say that, a photo of me and Kaysen. So they have filters up here, you can put whatever filter you want. Um, say like it says tune image so we can brighten it, we can lower it. So say where we're going to go like right here, right? Oh no, that's not, I wasn't done. So then we can slide up, we can do the contrast, make us a little, mm, we're gonna do that. Then with the saturation, makes us look orange. So we'll probably do this. Abundance. Uh, we like the abundance up at 20. Highlights, uh, let's see. Right there. Warmth, probably right. right here. And then we'll, we'll save it. Then we will go to details. We will do structure. Structure just makes the, the picture like pop out. I just used to me that's too much structure. So we'll probably put it like right here. Then we have sharpen where you can sharpen it up. Uh, make the picture look a little more clearer. Then if you want to turn it all the way up, that's what it looks like. It brings out certain details of things, but we're gonna turn it down a little bit. And there we go. And then that's basically what Snapseed does. Next we have is Shein. Shein is having a Black Friday sale. Um, I like from Shein. They're pretty cheap. Um, they have really good things as well. They also have kids clothes too if you did not know. That's also a video coming soon as well. So on to the next page we have Xfinity Mobile for my phone. <laughs> next we have is My Stories. My story is the same as Choices. We have is Netflix. Everybody knows Netflix is lit. Also, what we have, I'm just not going to talk about that app. Um, we have OfferUp. OfferUp is basically the same as um, Let Go. So, whatever you want to put up there, you try to sell it and you get it for a good price. Or 
yeah, you get it for a good price. Not get it, you sell it for a good price. And whoever offers you the best, that's what you go with. Next we have is Ovia. Ovia is a period app, what I like to use. I use all the time, I've been using it for years. I used to use their pregnancy one as well. But that is my period tracking app. Next to Ovia, we have Ovia, Ovia Parenting. So it basically is parenting as far as like watching your kid grow, what should your kid be doing. Um, I'll open it a little bit for you. But this is what it is. It's probably gonna lock me up because of the phone, because I just got the phone. But it'll tell you all the stuff. It'll tell you like little articles. Next we have pages. I don't really use pages. Next we have is paint number. Paint number, it has a number on it, and you can color. So here's some of the ones that I did down here. They give you the color. Say so we'll do like this flower really fast. So this flower, so, uh, I don't even see, oh, duh. So the flower, the background is this color. So we go to two. These are, what's the color two? Magenta, I think is the color, and we're missing one more over here and then here you go and basically that's what it is like three you just color basically the picture and every time you do the color right or you finish it it basically swaps it out so next thing we got is Pandora um, I actually love using Pandora here's some of the songs that's up here um, I was into never forget you but we're not gonna play it just because of uh, copyright purposes Next we have is PayPal, where you can pay, use PayPal, pay for everything, if you're buying clothes, PayPal is usually what comes up. Fonto. Fonto is one of my favorite apps to use. I use this also as well to do my thumbnails. Say like we had a picture, say we'll, oh not to take a picture, we don't want to do that. But go to my profile and here, don't mind the picture that you guys just seen, Kaysen and I. So maybe if I wanted to write on it, right? And I'll put picture, pictures with Kaysen. And this is what I will put on my thumbnail. I will make it small, size it down so it can fit on there. You can change the font to whatever kind of font you want. You can do basically whatever you want kind of thing. So that's basically how I edit my thumbnails.